Olympic wrestler for, I believe, Belarus mm -hmm. many years ago. Vugur Arujov. Vito Aruja in the black singlet. Yanni Giacomahalis in the blue. And this should be a good one. Of course, they're wrestling freestyle when they met in the New York State Finals. It was high school folk style match. Yeah, that's something to give these kids credit coming out and wrestling freestyle. And even in the middle of their folk style season, they recognize that this is a big deal coming out here and putting their skills on display. So kudos to both kids coming out and taking a big match like this. Absolutely. Tied up high. Arugia trying to control the pace. He goes for the legs. Got it. And that's two for Arugia. Trying to break down to Giacomo Hollis now. Wow. Look at the flexibility from Giacomo Hollis. Yeah, I'm not sure he was. He was really spread out there. He may not have been down the first time, but eventually he ended up down. So. Right. He eventually ended up down. I don't think he was aware that he'd given up the two, and then he looked at the clock yeah. and gave it up. So it's 2-0, 2 left in the first period. Yeah, Arugia was trying for the gut wrench there, but the referee brings him back to their feet. Giacomo Hollis took a shot, didn't connect. Tied up high again. Arugia with a heavy hand there to the back of the head. A lot of hand fighting between these two. They know each other. They've met on the biggest stage there is for high school in New York State. And Vito Arugia looks like he's got a cradle here if he can lock it up. Couldn't quite do it. He's going to get the three. Yeah, he got three for that fireman's carry right there. Close to, to so the exposure. I mean, the official was right on top of it, said he got it. So a 5-0 lead for Arugia in the black singlet. 113 to go. Good scramble here. in the here. period, yeah. Vito Arugia, oh, they're going to have a dangerous position, I believe, called. Yeah, they had the bowing of the back there. So they'll stop that every time that back starts to bow. So 106 to go, first period, 5-0 Arugia. Neither one of these guys from the Ithaca area, but Arugia, of course, with that Cornell connection, somewhat of a hometown favorite. To Giacomo Hollis, the push out, 5-1 now the score in favor of Arugia. Arugia back to that leg. How quick was that? Oh, he is man, so that was, fast. That was impressive, drag to the single. And they gave him two. 45 seconds left here in the first period. Gut wrench will end it here if he can get this. He's got it up high around that rib cage, but that was Giacomo Hall is doing a good job yeah, of avoiding solid it. Solid hip defense right there. I'm really impressed not only with Arugia's quickness and overall shots so far, but to Giacomo Hall's flexibility to stay on his stomach a couple of times here. 28 to go first period, 7-1 the score in favor of Arugia. Out of Cy Osset High School. The Giacomo Hollis trying for the throw by, then goes down on a single leg. Giacomo Hollis going to try to come out the back door here. And Giacomo Hollis gets two for the takedown, and he had some exposure there as well. Yeah, he's got to we'll be see. careful here. He's going to give up another set of back points right, right there. The, the judge calls it. No score two on the more. mat. But like I said, the judge and chair confirmed that on the mat. Uh, that it was two at that last tip there. So that two brings the score very close. After one period, Arugia a 7-5 lead now. He had two for the, the reversal and, or the takedown and then two for that exposure there at the end. So Arugia's big 7-1 lead, not looking so big anymore. Yeah, and, and I mean, that that's got what you got to be careful of in freestyle, diving under the ankles like that. You can get caught any um, tilt past 90 degrees. That's going to be two points for the other wrestler, so you really gotta be careful there. It's not folk style, and again, these, these kids are in folk style mode, so not necessarily training freestyle. And Arugia over in the Russian corner, he's wearing a Russian singlet as well. Down to the single leg goes to Giacomo Hollis, start off this Second period, again, 7-5 lead for Arugia in the black singlet. The Jack Mahalas were in blue. Referee's going to bring them back to their feet. No action out of that position. But Arugia still got some work to do. 
Goes in for that leg again. Nice high crotch. Yeah, he was looking to go fireman's that he scored off of earlier. And oh, dangerous position there. They'll blow that dead. So they'll give the two to Arusha. 9-5 lead now. Arusha going right in off that whistle. Love the aggressiveness. Yeah, he led up there for just a little bit, and that that gave the opening. You see another takedown here. Yeah, and a, a good position here for Dijak Mahas if he wants to go for that leg lace, but he lets it go instead. So 9-7 after the takedown by Dijak Mahalas. Referee will blow it. Not much happening there on the ground. 2.03 to go in the first period. Certainly the best of our exhibition bouts so far. Yeah, I'm not sure how the state finals match went, but if it was anything like this, it was a mighty exciting one. Absolutely. The Giacomo Hollis in on the legs of Arugia. Arugia trying to stay up. Now Arugia almost takes Giacomo Hollis to his back. The referee gives, I believe, two to Arugia. He's going to get three on that. And then another two red. And they're going to give one blue, I believe. No, they didn't confirm. It was a tech before they um, gave Holy any points to blue. Cow, that was So it spiked quite up the to 14 7, <laughs> just like that. Very exciting match to kick things off right before the rest of the Very exciting match. In four minutes and 31 seconds, Vito Arugia, your winner by technical fall, 14 to 7 over to Giacomo Hollis from Hilton High School. They both got smiles on their faces too. This is yeah. outstanding. Diak Mahalis in the red, Arusha in the blue, and I gotta say, sock game, advantage Arusha. Oh yeah, strong advantage. Although I kinda like the old school Adidas sock as well. I'm, I'm, I'm partial to the classic look that, that Yanni's rocking there. There's a fire, a uh, leg attack from Yanni. Uh, Vito gonna have maybe a little more advantage in terms of freestyle savvy. Yanni's still uh, relatively new to the freestyle game. You know, he made a uh, Fargo finals. He's a Fargo champ. So he's done really well at freestyle. But Vito, um, especially um, a little more versed in the freestyle. And, and actually talking to Yanni yesterday, I thought maybe you were there. Maybe not, though. He I basically was. said, I don't know. Free, I'm not very good at freestyle. Or, you know, the, from a tactical standpoint. Yes, and he fires off a knee pull, comes back door finish right away. And... Nothing. No, they're going to go two, and it will be confirmed. Two, I guess they're saying exposure. Uh oh, looking for that cradle. He talked about this cradle yesterday. And Johnny's he's got, got it locked, it locked up. up. Arusha's got his foot, though. And if I'm Vito Arusha, I am not letting go of that foot. I guess it doesn't matter, though. Yanni's going to get two more, and he's going to look for a fall. Yanni Diak is trying to end this one. Vito Arusha fighting for his life here in match number one. And a and fall. fall Yanni Diak Mahalas. Is going to take match number one in one minute, 14 seconds. Did not expect that that fast. Yanni D shows why he's one of the best guys in the country. Wrestling is wrestling officially. So we'll see what happens in this one. Match number two, they swap colors. That's going to be Arusha in the red. Yanni Diak Mahalis in the blue. And we are underway here. Arusha. Getting to that inside control. Yanni looking for wrists. Twenty seconds in, no score. You got it. You got it. So it's gonna be passive. First one goes against Vito Arugia. And I think I might have called him Nick earlier. If I did, I apologize. That's his older brother, wrestled at Cornell. Vito, the younger brother. Elbow control looking maybe a high crotch. Can't get it. And now we see Vito. Ooh, I thought he had a cradle for a second. He's firing off an attack. Gets to the legs. Good wizard wow. by Yanni. Vito continues to attack. Firing off shots. Circle, circle to the leg. He's in on it. And he's going to throw nice him to the finish. mat. Two-point takedown for Vito Arugia. And he was about to go on the shot clock. And I think a uh, fantastic job defending there for a while by, by Yanni. It, it got to a point I wasn't sure if Vito was ever going to put him down. But relentless getting to the legs and, and working for that finish. And uh, he'll get on the board 2-0. So already uh, diametrically opposed from match number one. Whereas Yanni, takedown, cradle, done. Right. That was it. 
And in case you weren't listening to match number one, as you said, Christian, these two train together for like 10 Ooh. days. Yanni goes for an inside trip to a throw, and he's going to get it. They're going to give him four. So all of a sudden, it's 4-2. Yanni Diakmahalis, and he's backing on a leg, looking for a takedown. Comes back to her, catches the bottom leg. Aruja over the top, catching an ankle, and the referee's going to stop it. I think... Attention red. And two blue. Oh, wow. I wonder, I don't know what for. So it's gonna be 6-2 just like that. Big swing. I don't know if it was for. So I, I suppose that maybe a toe hold or something? I'm not, I'm not sure. I'm sorry. It was a head scissor. Uh -huh. and I, I missed that. Hey! Yanni almost caught sleeping up. at the end of the period. Peaked at the clock. And as he did, Aruja fired off an attack. So that, man, the 4-2 was pretty reasonable. And they're going to say head scissor on uh, Aruja to give that two. So the referees are going to have a And he, the judge discussion. definitely showed four. So they're going to have a conference over here discussing the score. So we'll see. So the feet to back question confirmed. Yanni hit that inside trip. Two were like an over collar, th oh, over, over tie throw almost. Like stepped around. Yeah. So Yanni, They're double overs, not over collar. You know, Vito has been competitive here, but still, Yanni, you're seeing, he can just score points in a variety of ways. That's what makes him so dangerous. See him go upper body, he can attack the legs, and he can lock you up in a cradle. I believe both these guys are actually Cornell commits. I know that Yanni is for a fact, and um, Vito and obviously you with Vito and his has brother. Cornell ties as well. So probably future teammates. Rob Cole got to be happy about that. And now Vito pressing forward back to the a reach out for Yanni. Minute and a half to go in the bout. All New York battle here. Long Island versus Rochester. Rochester. Shot, reach out again for Vito, no go. And Vito been pushing the pace. A lot of action there, say, red action. What? Uh, interesting. What? He's trying car he wheel. He's trying car wheel and it gets to the leg, actually. And they're going to try to go passive red after that. I don't, I don't know how you can do that. Nobody's being passive here. Yanni's wow. still giving up nothing. Look at that split. Almost doing the splits. And they're going to give the two. So now two-point match. Remember, Yanni has the four. So uh, Vito going to need at least three points to take the lead. And now maybe he's got that leg in. And man, now that head scissors really looming large, that two-point penalty. Yeah. Currently the difference in the match, though, Yanni would technically have criteria regardless. But if I'm Vito, I'm continuing just high pace, a lot of motion. Keep attacking, keep attacking, man. I want to see him do a cartwheel again. Yeah, why not? Do another cartwheel. He fires off another one and continuing to move forward. I'm, I'm really surprised we haven't seen Yanni hit yet. And, and for whatever reason, they were getting on Vito. I mean, he was taking ground and attacking uh -huh. early there. Uh, they, they've get guys for passivity for less, I'll say. And now Yanni's. Yanni in position. They're looking to step behind. Couldn't get it. Short time. Vito's got one attack left in him. And Yanni looking at the clock again, but that's it. They're going to go that two. Take down. Right at the end. 8-4 your final and two matches to none. Yanni Diakmahalis will represent the United States on the world team this summer in Bosnia. Congrats to Yanni. And you see those two share a little side hug there.